fix it! Ugh, it's on the guitar, it's on my hand, it's on my face, it's everywhere! Coffee Break Tennis. Quick sip. I brought the story that I forgot to do earlier today because I wanted to save time. I got it all. Kyrios, Gasquet, Sunga. And we'll start with Stan Vavrinka out of Indian Wells in Miami ATP Masters events. Both events. He's out. If you haven't seen today's video, full show, Coffee Break Tennis, click up there. If that doesn't work, just wait till the end of this video and you'll have a chance to click on the video. I'll show you a link at the end of this video to see at the very end. Blah, 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 blah. Got it. Roger said, and I talked about it today, don't come back unless you're 100% ready. Don't come back if you're 92%. 32-year-old Swiss Stan Wawrinka will not play in the ATP Masters events in Indian Wells in Miami as he continues to recover from knee surgery. So he came back to the Aussie Open 92%. Maybe looked like to me like it was more like 84%. I need to be patient and give my body the time it needs, but my goal is to come back on the clay. Wow. I'm working hard on and off the court and hope to be back within a few weeks. So Stanimal, he's out. Stan the man is out. What else we got? The Kyrgios, Dasha, Gavrilova thing. We'll do that last. Are you getting sick of Kyrgios out there yet? Guess que es songa out. Shadi integre. I couldn't find this anywhere. I had to print a French story. Sweet allant de forfait du Stanislav Vavinka, je vifit songa et Richard Gasquet pour le master un thousand de interviews. Trois joyeux sont intégrés directement en tableau final sans passer par les qualifications pour le remplacer. Thank goodness they added a English tweet at the bottom of the article. Stan, Sanga, and Richard Gasquet have withdrawn from the BMP Paribas Open knee injuries. All three of them? I think, I think that's what it's implying. They will be replaced in the main draw by Jemmy Chaudy, that's what it meant in French, and Laszlo Degere and Lucas Wacko Lacko. Okay. Mr. Goat, what are you mowing about over there? Here's the one for today's quick sip. Quick sip! Make sure when you go to Starbark, get your Starbark coffee and your water so you stay hydrated. This one's empty from earlier today. Kyrgios takes shots at double standard in tennis. Another day, another Nick Kyrgios headline, but this time it's a little different. The Australian made a case for double standards after an incident involving Daria Dasha, Gavrilova in Acapulco. During her first round match against Madison Brangle, she threw, I'm not going to throw this, RF 90-inch pro staff, but she threw the racket, and it almost hit a ball kid. It came pretty close. Pretty close. Not as close as some media outlets reported it, though. When I'm reading the articles, they made it sound like that kid barely ducked under it. It almost hit him right in the face. That's what I was reading. The media, they always drum everything up. Why can't they just be honest with us? The news is interesting, right? I read the news straight here. I give it to you straight. It's still very fun and interesting, right? It's entertainment nonstop here. Mr. Goat is right there. Welcome to the show, Mr. Goat. Mr. Goat says it's their business to drum. Oh, Mr. Goat, did you turn off the microphone? He did it earlier. He turned off the mic. He stepped on the laptop and turned this off. Mr. Goat says it's the media's job to sensationalize everything, dummy. Yeah, you think so? Well, we're not going to do that on this show, Mr. Goat. Very interesting. During the first round match, Madison Brangle against Madison Brangle, Gavrilova threw her racket across the court in frustration, almost hit a ball person. Had it made contact, it would have resulted in a disqualification from the tournament. So only if you hit the ball kid do you get in trouble. That's that's the precedent they've set. Remember, Djokovic did this in 2016 at the French Open. He didn't hit the ball kid. And of course, who was it who kicked something and actually like cut up a lines person? Was that now Bandian? Um... Nick Kiro said, I would be banned for six years and been on every paper and news channel for the next month. On Twitter, Kiro's made the comment that if he committed the same outburst, he would have faced Ramakate, blah, 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 blah. Insinuating a double standard. Okay, there we go. Kiro's did not say there's a double standard because, see, that's the media drumming it up. If Kiro's had said there's a double standard, then he would be insinuating something like, uh, women get it easier than the men or something. But that's not true because Djokovic did the same thing and nothing happened to him. But... Again, it looks like it's the media insinuating what Kyrgios is really insinuating. Kyrgios doesn't think a lot about this stuff, right? Kyrgios just says stuff without much thought. He's a deep and thoughtful guy, don't get me wrong. I got to talk to him a couple times. He has his deep thoughts. This was not one of them. 
Um, Luca Pui made laughing emojis. Way to play it safe. <laughs> Coco Vandaway, who never shied away from a controversy, said, Double standards are everywhere. Uh, in any case, Gavrilova won the match in three sets. She didn't even have to get that mad. And she won another match since this story came out. Well, there you go. I promised I'd come back. There's your story. Comment below. Are you sick of Nick Kyrgios? I don't blame Kyrgios so much on this one. He shot off a little without thinking much, but the media tried to attach double standard to it because then it becomes a whole nother issue if he's making an allegation of a double standard between men's and women's tennis. Don't think that's what he was doing. Comment below what you think. Really getting sick of the media. Some people commented in the last video, maybe the Express, they're so bad. And I'm thinking maybe we will ban the Express from Coffee Break Tennis. We will not do their stories anymore. And everyone out there who watches Coffee Break Tennis, don't click on any stories from the Express. I'm thinking about it. Sometimes the Express will get a very interesting quote that you can't find from anywhere else. So I'm not sure. Comment below if I should ban the Express. Comment below if you're sick of Kyrgios. And comment below what you think about all these injuries. Gasquet, Vavrinka, Songa, Songa, all out at Indian Wells. Vavrinka saying not even Miami. And Rafa, of course, he says he's doing his best to play, and he wants to play, but he can't say yes or no. I'm going to go ahead and say he will not play Indian Wells. He might not even play Miami. Comment below what you, what you think. As for me and Mr. Goat, we will see you on Monday. Don't forget, Monday and Thursday next week, first person to comment, 20th person to comment on the videos. They come out at 11 a.m., 9 p.m. in India, 4 p.m. in the U.K., home of the Express. First and 20th person in honor of Federer to comment will get... A Coffee Break Tennis t-shirt. I'm looking over here like I have some. I don't think I have any. Coffee Break Tennis t-shirt. One of the scratchy, low-quality ones that I refuse to sell. It can be yours. I will pay for the shipping unless you live on the moon and it's a ridiculous amount of money. First comment. 20th comment in honor of RF20. Get a free shirt Monday and Thursday. I hope it's a really nice person who loves Coffee Break Tennis who wins. Four. Four people. Maybe we'll keep doing it. We'll do it until we run out of shirts or until I run out of money from paying for all this free shipping. Quick set! Quick set!